Hi fam bam, welcome back. Today we have some health hacks and more specifically beauty health hacks from the kitchen. So I was trying to think of more things to film and I thought why not change it up a little bit and share some of my little beauty secrets if you want to call it that. I'm not much of like a beautician or like beauty person but I do like taking care of myself and making sure that I do it in a non-toxic, conscious manner. And over the years, there have been some beauty hacks that I have grown accustomed to utilizing regularly, and I thought I would share them with you here. So if you like this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up, please. And as always, leave your questions and comments down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe on ways to level up your current reality. So the first beauty hack that I have for you is actually a really simple teeth whitening hack. And I don't whiten my teeth, but every so often if I feel like they're not super smooth, you know the way that it feels when you get back from the dentist, your teeth feel like pearly white and smooth, like almost slimy. I like my teeth to feel like that all the time. And over time in between cleanings, there happens to be like buildup from your saliva and that's not a bad thing, but I like to keep it off. And this particular approach not only helps keep the teeth super clean, but it also helps keep them nice and white. And if you do it regularly, it actually becomes a whitening technique that's pretty effective. So you only need two ingredients from your kitchen or your house. The first ingredient is baking soda and the next ingredient is peroxide. And the approach that I use is taking a pinch of baking soda on my fingertips and rubbing this around each tooth using my finger as sort of a buffer or a scrubber. So don't put it on your toothbrush because the finger covers more surface area, whereas the bristles just kind of move the particles around and you actually want the baking soda to smash in between your fingers and your tooth and you're kind of buffing it down. Now I got this tip from a friend so I can't take full credit from it but my friend gave me this tip and it works so amazing. When you're done buffing all your teeth you're just going to take a swoosh of peroxide, swoosh it all around, then spit it out. Make sure that you do this after brushing your teeth. You're not rinsing, brushing, or any of that stuff afterwards because you kind of want it to sit there. And if you do this once every week or once every month, it keeps your teeth looking amazing. The next beauty hack that I have for you is something new that I'm trying. So I don't really know the results yet, but what I've seen online, it's the most amazing and effective way to do this. If you have sunspots or aging spots anywhere on your body or your face, all you do is take an onion and apple cider vinegar. So you're gonna take the onion in a mortar and pestle or in a plastic bag and you're gonna smash it all up, add a splash of ACV, take a cotton swab, dip it in there, and then put it on your sun or your aging spots for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. When you're first starting, start low, like five minutes, see how it feels, wash it off with face wash, do your normal face care routine, and do this every day or a couple times a week until you see your age or sunspots lighten. This is something that a lot of people don't know, that age spots or sunspots are actually a discoloration of melanin on the surface of your skin. Um, so it's actually pretty easy to treat surface level and it saves you a lot of money from trying to go to like laser treatments or doing like toxic chemical peels or something like that, which I don't even know if that's how you would approach it. But I want to thank, I can't remember who, I'm going to stick the link below for their video on this because that's where I got this tip. So another one that I can't take credit for, but I will also let you guys know if you're interested what the results are on my sunspots. So another beauty hack that I really love adding to my nighttime routine is serum for the eyelashes. And the way that I usually make this is with plain vitamin E or castor oil. I just like going really simple, but if you really wanna spruce it up, and I think what people say online is it's more effective, 
use castor oil, some aloe vera, and mix it with the vitamin E. And for me, I don't keep this, like I just kind of squirt this all, rub it onto my fingertips, stick it on one of these lash brushes and brush it on every single night. But if you wanted to save like an old mascara bottle or like brow gel bottle, like clean it out and create the solution for yourself and use it every night, it really helps condition your lashes. It helps them be really strong and shiny and grow longer. It might not look like super fake lashes, like the ones that you glue on but it definitely makes a noticeable difference on your natural lashes the next thing that I have on my beauty hacks list is what to do for BO or like armpit stuff what do they call that anti not an antiperspirant because this is not an antiperspirant approach am I saying that word right perspirant per perspirant <laughs> now I forgot how to say it but like a natural deodorant approach, mainly for smell and to avoid toxic aluminum and fragrances and chemicals that are so close to, you know, glands here near your underarms, which I've heard causes a lot of problems for women in the long run. There are two ingredients that you need for this. Um, you could do three if you want it to be more uh, clean. I'll talk about it here in a sec, but the first ingredient is sea salt. I like using the sea salt rocks. You can actually just buy sea salt rocks from the bulk food section, which is way cheaper than buying the salt rocks that they make specifically for this. The difference is that if you get like crystal rocks, like sea salt rocks for a deodorant, they're usually smoother, so it's a lot nicer to put on, but it, you're gonna have to wet the rock in the first place, so you just kinda rub the sea salt rock on as a preventative. That's the key tip. You have to do it as a preventative because if you wait till after you perspire and you stink, it's not going to handle that stink. But a tip, if you are there and you have the sea salt, you can just go to the bathroom, wash it off with like water, and soap or like a, a hand towel, then put the sea salt rock and you should be good to go. But what you can do if you do feel like you're starting to get some BO or you wanna handle like what happens after you sweat, use baking soda because it actually absorbs all that smell and it, it tones it all down. And yes, it can get really powdery, so an optional third ingredient would be to use coconut oil or shea butter and mix the baking soda in there so that now you've created a paste or kind of an emollient that you can put in your underarms instead of deodorant. I've done this for years and it works so great but because I'm lazy, usually I just use like a liquefied salt solution in the bottle like from Crystal, so it just makes it super easy, but this way is also very effective and very clean and natural. So my next beauty hack that I absolutely love doing is using apple cider vinegar in my hair after I have shampooed my hair. And I got this from the no poo um, time of my life because I used to no poo and I would love to go back to no pooing, but at the moment I have to do my hair all the time, so I do use shampoo and conditioner, but I've still incorporated using apple cider vinegar in my hair because it is an amazing treatment to replenish kind of the natural oils, keep it super shiny, and my hair feels really strong after I do this. And it's pretty easy. You just wanna leave a bottle of apple cider vinegar in your shower. Once you're done shampooing, then you skip the conditioner part and I only do this like once a week and you kind of just drench your hair in apple cider vinegar or drizzle it across your hair, then rinse it off and just let it stay. Now, it might smell a little bit apple cider vinegary after that, but don't worry, like after you get out of the shower and everything dries, like it will smell great. You won't smell like vinegar the rest of the week. But I've noticed it makes a huge difference in my hair. The only time I probably wouldn't recommend this approach is if your hair is super, super oily. But it's a great treatment and if your hair is super oily, you could try using it to help balance the pH or just on the tips and actually see if it helps treat the oiliness. But if it makes it worse, then don't do it. Last but not least, a beauty hack that I have is using oil after you get out of the shower. 
Now most of you guys will say, no duh, moisturize after you bathe, that's a no-brainer, but the hack is to do it before you get out and get dry. I used to use baby oil a long time ago, but the mineral oil or petroleum-based products are not really clean or good for you, so I have now swapped it with either a cold-pressed vegetable oil, or my preference is jojoba oil. Sometimes I'll use avocado oil, it's a little bit thicker, but you wanna do this when you're wet, because for some reason the oil locks in the moisture, it makes your skin so amazingly soft. So you take the oil in your hands, you rub it all around while you're still dripping wet after you've turned the shower off, everywhere, every part of your body, your legs, your arms, your belly, your neck, your face. Then when you grab your towel, dab yourself dry. Don't wipe yourself, just dab yourself dry and your skin is gonna be feeling so amazing. It's probably one of my favorite things to do because my skin typically runs on the dry side, but it's a great way to moisturize and lock in that moisturization for a long period of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed these health slash beauty hacks straight from your own home and kitchen. They're super simple. Each one uses like no more than two or three ingredients. And if you guys have any to add, I would love to hear more hacks because I love saving time and staying clean and conscious about taking care of my own body and my life in general. So let me know in the comments below if you would add anything to this list and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for the next video. Ciao for now.